Now in a previous lesson we walked through how to set up an overview map when we're in the data view. So the data view meaning that my little globe down here is activated and I have this nice overview map that gives me an idea of where in New York City I'm actually looking and of course in this case I'm looking at Staten Island. But what if I want to do something similar on the layout of my actual physical map? Well there's a way to do it here as well. And the first thing I need to do is go up to the insert menu and add a new data frame. Now remember adding a new data frame is just like adding a new map onto your existing one. So when I do that I get this new data frame that I can position somewhere on my existing map. And if I have a layer in my previous data frame that I want to add I can do so by simply selecting it and dragging it to the new data frame. Now remember that ArcMap is always going to look at the first data frame that we select and assign the projection based off of it. So in the case of the New York City data it's important that I pick borough boundaries as opposed to say my world topographic map for this example. So but pretty quickly you can see that I've begun to set up a vicinity map for my larger uh, Staten Island map. Now, what if I want to do something similar to what I'm seeing here in my overview map where I see uh, a nice handy box drawn around Staten Island that gives me some idea of where in New York City Staten Island is uh, in comparison to the rest of the city. I can do that here as well. And the way I would do that is by right-clicking on this new data frame layer that I've added. And I'm actually going to rename it. And if I right-click here on my data frame, I can go down to Properties. And here, if I click on Extent Rectangles, I'll have the option to move any other data frames into this box here that's going to represent the extent rectangle for the data frames. So I select on the left Staten Island, I click the button to move it over. If I want to I can even customize the frame a bit. So if I don't like the red and or the line style, I can change it here. OK, click OK, and now we'll see on my vicinity map, I have a rectangle that's representing the extent of my other map. Now what's really nice about these is that if my view here of Staten Island changes, for example, I have three clinics up here, if I zoom in on those clinics on this map, my vicinity map actually automatically changes. So the size will reposition and reset depending on what you're looking at in your overall map. And of course, you can begin playing with symbology for your other layer so as to make it not conflicting with the overall map. And there you go. Now you have a pretty nice vicinity map.